The name of this game is Bowl A Fact. This is a one to two player game. What you need to play this game is a pyramid of numbers and three dice. This can be drawn out on paper at home or at school. The goal of the game is to cover up all of the numbers. All right, so the way we're gonna do this is roll the three dice. So I'm gonna get her to roll the roll, dice here. Tap. Reveal. Reveal. All so right. I have a four, a three, and a two. Okay, so, see it there? okay. so four, three, and a two. And we're going to use adding and subtracting, or multiplying and dividing, and any combination of those to get the numbers. But let's just start with adding and subtracting. Okay, so four plus three is seven, plus two more would be nine. And we're going to write this down as we go along, so we have proof of how we got those numbers. All right, so okay. I see, well, I'm going to do 4 plus 3 again, which gives me 7. But instead of adding 2, I'm going to take away 2. And 4 plus 3 is 7. Take away 2 gives me 5. So we can cover up the 5 as well. There we go. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm going to do 3 plus 2, okay. which is 5. Take away Four is one. Okay. Hmm. Well, if I do four take away three, that'll give me four, one. Take away three. And then if I add two, that will give me three. There. Go. All right. So for younger students, you'd want to keep playing this way. But for older students, we're also going to use multiplication and division to also try and find other answers to cover it up. So when I'm looking here, I actually see that four times three is 12, and I know that 12 divided by two is six. So while she covers that up, I'm gonna write it down here. So four times three, but I wanna show that I use those numbers together. So I'm just gonna put those in brackets. And I'll just write the answer underneath for myself. So I know four times three is 12, and then I divided it by two to give me that six answer right there. Okay, now if we had four take away three, that's one, and one times two equals two. All right, so that was four take away three gives me the one, and then the one times two is two, now, if we had covered them all up, we would have a strike and that means we'd won the game. But since, I don't see any more. Do you see any more? No, I don't no. see any more either. Okay, so at this point of the game, uh, you would choose one dice to re-roll and then we're gonna do the same thing again, but with a new number. Oh, I just rolled a five. Okay, so a five and a three and a two. So well, looking at these numbers, I can go five okay. times two. Mm -hmm. Just 10. 10 take away 3 equals 7. All right. We are on our way. And I see that, hmm, well, I know 5 plus 3 is 8. And I know that 8, well, I have a 2 left. Oh, 8 divided by 2. That's going to leave me with 4. So we can cover up that 4 now. There we go. Okay. Hmm. I think I see one more. Five plus three mm -hmm. is eight, and eight plus two is ten. Okay. Now, looking at those numbers, I don't, I don't really see a way to get to eight. And if you find a way to get to eight, you can come find us. But um, do you see any more? No, I don't no. see any more. So if we had covered that eight up, then we'd get a spare, which means if we were playing this against another team and they got a strike, they would win. But if they didn't and we got a spare, then we would win. 
But since we, don't, we weren't able to cover up that eight, we have a final score of eight. Now you wanna get the lowest number possible, all of them covered, so we're left with eight. And now when we try this again, we're gonna try and beat that score of having eight left over.